Let's sketch a butterfly with intense colors. So this little hair streak has interesting iridescence on his outer side of the wings. And I want to show you how you can achieve this with watercolors. Again, I'm doing a quick sketch, uh, thinking about my basic triangle, then adding the body uh, at the right side and then refining my triangle shape a little bit to bring out the the hind and the forewing. So I'm spending a bit of time getting the edge of the wing and the uh, overall shapes of everything just right. You can see the big eye of this butterfly. And then here his small markings uh, are sitting on this sort of curved line. So I'm bringing in my watercolor and I actually want to premix some of the colors that will go uh, on the wings. So this middle green, sort of this golden middle green. And then on the right, I have this um, greenish blue, this tailo blue with a little bit of green. And what I'll do now is I'll wet the front wing, so the upper part of the wing, with water. And I do this so that I can just drop in the color and spread it around. And it will, it will give a nice, smooth, even layer of color. I'm spending a little bit of time with the body color, with a little bit of ultramarine blue mixed with some gray. And I'm dropping in just a very light indication of these gray areas that I can see, giving the upper wing a chance to, to dry. Now I can come back with my clear brush with water and water the area that I want to paint in now. And now I can come in with my blue and just drop in the color. And you can see how it spreads around on its own. And I add green on the left side and it also spreads around. And I can drop in color as long as this is wet. So I don't want to use too much water. I've added a little bit of white to my blue-gray mix so that I have a little bit of opacity to add to the body part of the, of the hair streak. And after letting everything dry, I'm ready to add a second layer. I'm going to give the eye this white border and I'm going to add in these little dabs of white on the antennae. Now I'm adding in the small white markings on the wings, softening wing colors a bit before I proceed and now I'm adding with white gouache the markings on the hind wing. So I'm adding a bit of detail with colored pencils. And this is our finished hair streak. If you've enjoyed this video, it's part of a longer video class called How to Draw and Paint Butterflies. In this video series, I show you everything you need to get started for sketching butterflies and moths in your sketchbook. I go over the basics of butterfly anatomy, show sketching techniques and tips, and give several demonstrations in watercolor and colored pencil from start to finish, including a long version of this tutorial. The whole course has over two hours of video, so come with me and learn how to draw butterflies.